Hello and welcome to another update video about Phantom. Yeah, someone said to me earlier today that Phantom is moving different to other cryptos and that was true here back in January 21 when it made its, um, was it actually a new all-time high? No, it, but it came very close to the all-time high in January. At the time it moved very much together with Cosmos and Harmony One um, and they still move together but at the moment they pretty much all are moving in very similar ways, pretty much all cryptocurrencies and Phantom in my opinion as well. So from the reversal point here that we called at the time back in January, we have moved down a long time in this channel. And within this channel, in the last video, I made you aware of this potential breakout level here, that breakout point, that descending wedge um, in the channel. But we are still overall in a channel here, in descending, in a huge descending channel. And I told you as well that, you know, we can't really talk about a sustainable breakout for Phantom until we get back out of this channel. And we have two things here. So we reached that target area for Phantom that we talked about. We talked about a 50 cent level Phantom or 50 chili powder here ordered. Sorry. Um, no, we talked about um, 50 cent for Phantom roughly, yeah, 57. Now it did even come below that, yeah. So I had to go to the high level wave count based on the Elite waves here to give Phantom basically <laughs> another chance. And the 50, um, the um, FIP levels reach now from 39 cents to 75 cents. So that is the target area here for Phantom. Um, and so far, as we can see here, if we zoom in, it has moved below the target area. It has now come back into the area, back above the 88.7% Fibonacci retracement level, which is good. However, there's obviously I showed you two patterns here in the last video. We, we looked at this descending wedge, which is rather bullish, yeah. Um, and we looked at this ascending channel after a strong, da strong downtrend, which is rather bearish because you can call this obviously a bear flag. And um, it could be now there's two things here. This could just be a one, two, one, two setup, or it could be a, a corrective structure. It is not as clearly corrective as we can currently see it on many other cryptocurrency charts. So in that sense, yes, Phantom is a moving a little bit different, but it still is moving here in some kind of a channel. Yeah, um, and I can adjust that a little bit, but it is just a, a consolidation. That is how it is looking like. Just a consolidation at the moment after a strong downtrend, which primarily you would expect would break out to the downside. So sh in summary, my view is Phantom has not yet seen the low. That is my assumption for many other cryptocurrencies. That is also my assumption for Phantom. However, at any point in time, Phantom, like many other cryptos, can now have seen the low. Theoretically, all of this could be completed. I mean, I talked a long time about this target area here for Phantom, and it was very hard to believe it when we were at $2.50, and I talked about a potentially, I think, 57 to 80 cent phantom and in the end we dropped even lower so i wasn't even bearish enough but because it has now done what it needs to do in this correction in this wave two as per the elite wave method because that is what it is it's a wave two correction which can just correct down very very much um, it has done what it needs to do and therefore at any point in time it can now with the right catalyst maybe turn back into an uptrend so we we just need to we just need to wait for that signal that it starts and then we can be ready, yeah? That is why I pay clo close attention at the moment on a lot of crypto charts really also to the to the lower uh, time frame developments. And what we want to see here for Phantom as well is a five wave move to the upside and a three wave move down. So we want to see something like um, a one, two, three, four, five. So a five wave move up, which would go into the direction of the higher level trend and that means that the trend has shifted to the upside and then we want to see an ABC wave down. So if I repeat that in various videos, but we've got a lot of new viewers and we want to make sure that this is understood by everybody because this is the best indication you can get that an uptrend is uh, is starting, that the downtrend is over to get five waves, uh, that five wave structure up and the three wave uh, structure down with a higher low and then another green indication that it's starting to go up again. And then we are we have to be ready. For now here on the short term, we can see that, yeah, we had a breakout out of that descending wedge. Um, for now, that doesn't look very exciting. We have a little increase in volume, which is good. And it could be a breakout here and we could just be retesting it for now. And from here, the price would need to move up higher and have a chance. But only, I think, if we break above that previous rejection point here at 52 cents. 
So until then, I would be very, very careful. Um, that 52 cent level would be a breakout point, in my opinion, is the previous swing high. And from here, you know, after the breakout of that descending wedge that you can see here, a move down, a possible retest, what we now need to see a, for a bullish scenario and a, a trade setup is that we now see green candles. And in my opinion, we need to see here a break above the 52 cent level, which is that previous swing high. Until then, we are officially still in downtrend. You really only get back into an uptrend if you are breaking above a previous, uh, if you're breaking above a previous swing high. Yeah. Um, the problem is that we had after the breakout quite a strong red candle again. So I'd be very careful at the moment. Yeah. Um, because it's pretty much the same size. It seems like we're making a higher low, and the 88.7% FIB level here at 39 cents might provide support, and that is good. And I mean, if you see on the lower time frame here a bullish candle. That might already be a trade, um, a possible entry point, all the way up to 52 cents. I mean, why not, right? Um, coming down to support, eight um, here at uh, 39 cents, going maybe to the one-hour chart or four-hour chart, and if there is a green bullish candle coming now, you know that might be an interesting entry point for you if you want to trade it. You know, that's no financial advice here. I'm just telling you that this could be one. But from my point of view, we won't get confirmation really that we get higher here is until we get above 52 cents, but it always depends on the time frame anyway. Yeah, it always depends on your time frame. And as long as we caught in the channel anyway, um, you're not, you know, until we break out really out of this channel, that's another th thing here. You want to break out of that channel really, but you could do that if you move up above 52, oops, 52 cents really. Yeah. Um, and that is where we are here with Phantom at the moment. Primarily, you know, this is of course a short, I mean, we need to split between the idea of a, a short-term trade here, a trade setup, um, and generally what I still expect for the market. And for me, in the market, I still expect one lower low. The medium wave count also for Bitcoin, for example, suggests it. This structure here for me is also not yet clearly impulsive. It looks still very corrective with overlaps, a lot of overlaps in between. You make a high here, you make a lower high, um, higher low, then here another higher high, another higher high at the moment here you seem to be making another lower high just looks very corrective still but it's a good sign that phantom is back in the target area and at any point we need to be ready that the low could be in um obviously we had a good a few good developments now with andre being back in at phantom now i haven't followed this i assume that is the case now again still until it has, unless it has changed again um but let's be honest if we really break above 52 cents here there could be an opportunity to really move all the way up to 75 cents. That's the next re uh, resistance. And then maybe if we break that even here to the next resistance at 87 cents and then to the top of that channel, depending on when it will reach it, it's a descending trend line. So I can't give you an absolute level for that. Um, but all of that would still involve a lot of downtrend potential afterwards to really get confirmation that the overall, that the overall um, uptrend is over, the overall downtrend is over. We want to get at least above one dollar thirteen. That is here the wave A low. We want to get at least at least um, above that level, and when we get above that level, then we can also start to tackle the all-time high. Okay, and um, yeah, they are my f my thoughts about Phantom here. So primarily, certainly short-term upside potential if we manage to break above fifty-two cents. Yeah, I gave you the resistance levels for that, but at the moment, until I haven't seen enough bullish signals yeah i don't think that the low is in for phantom and i have to primarily expect another lower low for phantom overall maybe after a short-term uptrend here um, and i gave you the resistance levels for that and certainly if we lose that 88.7 percent fib level again here that you can see on the chart which is the 39 cent level then i think we have downside potential all the way down here too first of all 30 and then here that um, 30 cents yeah then 26 cents and then here the last low 22 cents and really as a worst case for support let's go to the left hand side honestly i think the worst case for me would be a 10 cent phantom but here it really needs to turn around honestly if it doesn't do that i think i'm going to lose any faith in phantom that is my view my update about phantom hopefully you like the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.